G'day, today we're going to have a look at a game coming out um, today, I believe. This is um, Mortal Glory 2, so um, the developers here have kindly sent me a key to check it out. This one I don't know too much about, so let's uh, jump straight in. Alright, so, making a character. Founding character, so these are just names, so our team name will be Drawing Dead. A poker term that means you've already lost. Um, but you're going to keep going anyway. And our founding character is going to be... There's a little two guys. Well, I like our Minotaur. I'm trying to make a... uh to be a fun pun with a Minotaur. Well, we're going to say he's Max. So he's Maxator. Minotaur. Minotaur. Yeah, okay. Difficulty will go normal. Uh, we don't need to drop to easy. We'll take it on. Tutorial tips. Yes, please. Win a run to unlock this feature. Alright. I know what that is. And challenges will win a run to unlock those features too. Alright. Start with the club, a skill, a gadget, a little bit of dosh. Welcome to Mortal Glory 2. In this game, you need to guide your team to victory in a ruthless gladiator tournament. Only the victors will get the bask in the eternal glory. Is your team worthy to become the next champions? Click the chest to receive your starting items, which are different for each starting character. This will get you started. So things we already saw that we uh we get. Oh no, I get to choose one of each of these things. Apply a random debuff to a target. Uh, reduce the duration of all environmental tiles by ten. Smoke bomb. Let's do a swift curse. Get the club and the money and our skills. Uh, Ackle. Charge towards an enemy and knock them back one tile. Increase damage by four for each active buff. Remove 20 mana. Let's go for that. Let's go strategically try and knock them out. Your progress in the game by traveling on the... You pro, sorry, you progress in the game um, by traveling on the map. Different types of destinations include fights, shops, random events, treasures, elite fights, and finally, at the end of each tournament level, a boss fight. Your only goal is to be victorious. Click the bag button to access your inventory. Can do. Each character has four main stats. Strength, agility, wisdom, vitality, which determine the, others, um, the other stats for the character. For example, one strength gives the character physical damage and one knockback chance. Moving the cursor over the different stats reveals more information about them. Sure. Stats can be improved through various means. Leveling up events, potions, perks, and most importantly, items. By default, all characters can equip one weapon, one armor, and two accessories. Each character has a gear button at the upper right corner that can be used to access additional options for the characters. By clicking the scroll button in the inventory, you can find information about your current run. By clicking the sell button in the inventory, you can sell items for gold at any point on your journey. All right. There's more books on the right hand side over here. Our book's good. There's only one Sack. No, it's sacks all the way across here. Well, let's find out what the sacks are. We'll go this way. Roaring dead. Before you battle, you can see your opponents and skills make changes to your team before any of the battle. By default, you cannot have duplicate races on your team. Wardens of the Red Sun. Win to loot. Alright. Am I... Is this turn-based? I think this is turn-based. Take turns. Not cool, bro. Swift curse. I'm rooted. I mean, she's ranged, so it's going to hurt me more than it hurts her. Mana shatter her, so she's got no mana left. No point in rooting me if I'm right next to you. Let's see what we got now, loot.
frags, some money, and crippling throw. Renew. Let's go for some healing. Now if I go back to my bag, I'm just going to be used or equipped by dragging them onto the characters, right? One character can only have up to four skills. Racial skills and items are not encountered for this. Use gear menu. To... Alright, great. So I've got his rags on and... Did I just waste that? No, I've just added it to him. Is that a passive? Can I tell if this is passive? End of turn, heal five points. Seems like it's a passive. We'll find out, I guess, in our next fight. Okay. The battle preview will show if the fight has any special rules. In later fights, you can also accept extra challenges to increase your rewards. Alright. Some fights will have environmental tiles like fire and battlefield. These have unique effects. You interact with them, sometimes will also move or spread up. Blah, 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 blah. Each unit can move equal to action points. Running out action points will immediately end the turn. Act attacking a melee or using most skills will immediately end the turn. Some skills, like racial abilities, have a specific mention in their description if using skill does not end the turn. All right. Team that defeats all enemies wins the fight. If the turn limit is reached, the fight ends in a tie. Dudes in there rooted. Angle on you. I curse him? No. Well, I'll just stand here then. But you come to me. I can shatter your mana. Bit of a throat. Not many people come into these fights. Maybe about four or five of them. Some of these guys look like they're from uh, Major Monsters. Wonder if they're skins that have. Choose one armor. Coat. What do we think? Let's go the chainmail. Teleport. Sounds good. Alright, so if I go back to the sack, I want to say... I haven't quite figured out... Oh, I can drag. Great, so you can go upgrade on that. Um, skill will consume. It's three of his four abilities, but I feel like teleporting could be a, um, a real good one for him, especially... Handling so many guys that are going for rooting. Uh, each shop randomly offers wares from three different categories, which uh, actually are you telling me I can buy a person? That's what we're here for. That's the headline. BB, Miri. I don't want to say your name. It's too long. Gross. So for Billy, uh, well, you put yourself out of the running. Fleet of foot, Miri. But I can't afford you. BB! You're the man. I hope you didn't want a weapon, baby. Alright. Some fights will have objects on the battlefield which have varying effects when destroyed. Barrels are the most common objects and they can be pushed uh, by attacking them when normally attack. Pushing works the same as knockbacks. Alright. Oh, he's gonna be slow. Can't believe I got plague. Teleport all the way over here and you know what I think about it. Go 
get rid of that manor of yours. DB's going to lumber around. Oh. Shot of the watch got concussed on the pole. When you activate a skill, the range of skills is visualized and all available targets are highlighted. Yeah. Switch position with a target unit. I don't hate that. Different skills can have a wide variety of effects. Damaging skills will usually scale with physical. Damage cooldown, range, mana, and other details for any skill can be seen by moving the cursor over the icon. Most skills have a small icon. Yep. When attacking a melee, all characters have a chance to apply knockback to the target. This will cause the target to travel equal to the amount of knockback, or until they collide with something. Colliding will deal piercing damage based on the remaining knockback distance. The exact number can be found under the knockback chance in the character details. Alright. Alright. Maxator is level 2. Good, alright. Events are random occurrences that can have varying effects based on your choices. The effects of different choices can always be seen by moving the cursor over the option. Blind, extraordinary looking woman approaches you. I see where destiny leads you, BB. You need but a nudge towards it. Choose your blessing. Experience against 200 XP. Against a random skill. Against a random perk. Replace racial skill with another from a random race. Random perk. Random skill. Okay. Well, that seems positive. So let's go for the route that gets us the most books. Teleport to here, and then we'll get him to. Oh, it's too far away. Go diagonal. Whoa. We could be in trouble here. Move away from the barrels. I can't believe Stewator down. His name's not Stewator, his name's Maxator. damage than, than I'll do. Just trying to get out of his line of sight while he's burning. But now just trying to hide. One way to do it, baby. Based on their participation, damage dealt, and knockouts. I'd love to see a breakdown of that. Click the chest to collect your rewards. Money, money. Um, agility. Let's see if that helps out our mate. Maybe. When a character is ready to level up, the borders of that character will have a green glow. Every character gains new re different new rewards with every level. Different levels will have different types of rewards. 
Magic damage, mana points, protection. Let's go mana, because he's pretty lean on mana. Increase the damage by 6 for each active debuff on user. No, we'll just hold on to that for now. Come across a cave hidden behind a shrubbery. Inside the cave there is a strange pool of glowing liquid. Even more odd as you notice one of the possessions starts visibly vibrate near the liquid. Submerge the item. Submerge hand. Submerge face. I feel like... Oh, mate. His vitality is... I, decide, I love that I decide that someone should stick their head in it. It's like, ah, baby, you do it. Alright. We have our first two-on-two -two battle here. In a matchup that we can only declare as... Even. So it's interesting to see that his charge doesn't actually count as a um should have teleported. That was a bad choice on my part there. Um now BB can now move two spots. It's exciting for you, baby. Oh. That is sneaking. Oh, he took himself out there. Alright, what do we got, baby? Blazing charge. Um, so if I move up one spot, can I then do it? No. Sort of stab at him a bit. Just sort of hide behind a thing. Not cool, bro. Oh, he's in the X section of that, clearly. Does it kill him? How much has he got? Six. Oh, BB. You were the, uh, you were the hero of the story. Or agility. Let's, um, give that to our friend here. I mean, there's a clear path across here, right? Why can I not walk to that book? Agility is not bad. I feel like, um, agility stuff's worthwhile. Sell all of that. I don't want to use that one. I don't know what spot that goes into, but it's, um, up our guys, physical damage, um, and some more health. Um, critical chance, physical damage. And 
magic damage. Another book. You're walking by a lake when BB has a well-received idea to go fishing. Increase hold the team by 10 health. Gain an item. Yeah, I feel like permanent upgrades to the team are the, uh, are the ones I want to do. Okay. I don't want to do an extra unit on this fight. I barely beat to the last time we fought too. I realize now this is the order that we get to fight in over here. So he can now move three, but we're gonna jump teleport right in the action. Um poor BB is gonna slowly get there. Um, I find that sometimes the, um, all too close to, not really who I wanted to go after, but I go. Oh boy. Well, it's going to enfold a BB's very capable shoulders. Deal 20% of missing HP. All of her his stuff is too she's too close to do anything with any of it. What if I did an arcane I can't I've got nothing to swap with. Um Well there you go my two fellas. But we're okay. We just live to fight another day. Uh, a good deal for you. That could be good for our, our friend. Let's go to a store. Oh, I don't have that much money. Let's say we can see if we can get someone. Side note, Old Maid's still not even using a weapon. Um, our friend BB. I don't feel like we're ready for an elite fight. Barely ready for a non-elite fight. Okay, lesson learned last time. Let's not just send my, my mate into the fray. If anything, what I should be doing with him is hiding him behind BB. I can't get to that charge. If I go to here, then I can't use that charge. That mana shadow explanation gets in the way of the disability. Not too much he can do there. Um, gotta make sure. Gotta stop walking diagonally. These blazing charges are so confusing because that, that doesn't look like I'm attacking him. It looks like I'm, um... Mate, you are just absolutely bullied non-stop.
What's the point of that? Unless he hits a wall. He's... Maxator is just... dead white. You are spare parts, bud. That was a weird series of events. Again, I go to that and I go like, oh, that's weird clipping floor. No, it's this one uh, is what I want. Regenerate. Get him a weapon. Okay, also, terrible strategy seemingly being next to a, uh, a wall. Because getting knocked back into it is, uh, is bad news. Oh, well, there we go. Um, definitely some interesting stuff to it. Um, certainly I'll consider giving it another run at some point. Uh, yeah, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later.